my name is Steve Gerzeni, and this is Coach House. I uh, would like to welcome you to a product review on our 272XL, which we consider to be our flagship motorhome. There are so many features in this vehicle, it's unlike anything else you're ever going to find in the industry. Now what I do want to say is Coach House has been in business for 32 years, and we've been owned by the same family since the inception. Um, it's unlike the industry right now that has been gobbled up by a lot of big um, investment bankers, investment brokers, whatever the case may be. So it's really a nice thing to buy from a family-run business. We are factory direct, we only sell factory direct, and we warranty our vehicles in all of North America. So the vehicle is just a remarkable product, and we hope by the end of this video you will agree. Uh, what I'd like to do is start with the exterior and just show you some of the features that we offer. As you notice when I walked out this door, it's a nice solid heavy duty door, side entry door. There's a double step that's motorized. Having two steps makes it very, very convenient and easy for our customers to get in and out of the vehicle. Now, Coach House builds on two different chassis. We build on the Ford Econoline E450 and the Mercedes 3500 series chassis. One of the nice things about what we do is we build on two different wheelbases on the Ford. This is 272, is built on the uh, Ford E450 chassis on a 176 inch wheelbase. We also build our shorter Ford versions on the 158 inch wheelbase chassis. But they are all equipped the same. We order every option that is available from Ford. And we also, what they call a QVM with Ford, and a master upfitter for Mercedes-Benz. Now what's nice about Ford, Ford is a heavy duty chassis. It has a 14,500 pound gross vehicle weight rating and a combined weight rating of 22,000 pounds. So adequate to haul cars, boats, um, put just about anything you want inside the vehicle. You have plenty of loading capability. Now inside, we'll get in a little bit. I'll show you some of the features of the chassis on the inside. Um, on the outside, uh, what we do with the chassis, we also add these wheel, stainless steel wheel simulators, front and back. We also have an option for Alcoa rims, but no matter what rim package you get on the back, whether it be on a Ford or Mercedes, we also put the Duali extenders on the tires so that you can fill your inside tires, which is uncommon in the industry. A lot of our competitors choose not to do that. So that's a good feature to keep your tire pressure adequate in all six tires. Um, I'm gonna start from the door here. Uh, we have a real nice lighted grab bar here for security, getting in and out of the coach. We have a nice porch light. Um, all of our windows are jealousy style windows. So if you have inclement weather, you have pets inside your vehicle, um, whatever the case may be, safety, you don't have to worry about people breaking into your coach. You don't have to worry about inclement weather if you're trying to keep your pets from suffocating inside the coach. So jealousy windows are very, very nice to have. Uh, the rain flows down through them, and we do that on all of our vehicles. Um, we have here what's called our um, propane fill, and this is a remote fill. We actually use a 68-pound tank that's mounted on the inside of the frame rails of the chassis, it's a 68 pound cylinder. So this is a very safe location for your propane system, your propane tank, and this is a remote fill. Going to the back, outside storage. Coach House is proud of their outside storage um, because of a couple of different things. Here's our auxiliary batteries on the Ford chassis. They're two six volt lifelines. They give you 220 amp hours. We put them in series, so now we have 12 volts worth of power. Um, able to take a discharge very, very well. It's a marine side of the equation. It's a marine battery, and uh, we've chosen this because of the longevity, the life, and the durability of the two six volts putting them, putting them in a series. You notice they're on a nice slide tray, so they're very easy to get to. Below, on all passenger sides of all of our vehicles, you're going to have a remote access for LPG. If you want to set up a grill on the table or something along those lines while you're camping, you can hook up right here and pull right off your main propane tank. Uh, nice little storage compartment here. All of our storage containers are fiberglass. 
We do not use aluminum in our storage containers. If you've seen a piece of aluminum over time, it'll pit, it will rust, it will rot. Fiberglass will last forever. Um, going through here, we have a freshwater fill for gravity. We also have another way to fill when we get to our central utility compartment. Um, on the exterior, we also provide cable. We provide HDMI. In the event you have a satellite, you can watch your TV on, again on the picnic table or what have you um, while you're camping. 110 volt outlets. Moving on down, we offer a three-way Dometic refrigerator, which I'll show you inside. It's the largest three-way refrigerator you can put in a motorhome. Don't be fooled by people offering two ways. This is AC, DC, LP gas. What's nice about this refrigerator is it's an absorption, it's Dometic, it's name brand, and it's the largest three-way you can get. If, if our competitors offer a larger refrigerator, they're gonna be down to two-way, which is typically LP gas, 110 volt. This has the 12 volt side to it, which is nice. Outside storage again, back here by the rear slide out, we have additional outside storage, which is nice. What we do with our storage, this is the floor level of the coach. What we do is we add all of our outside storage below the floor of the coach. We do that for, again, a safety factor. I've got keys that I can get into just about any compartment in the industry. So if you have valuables, we suggest you store them inside the coach where it's safe. Those are all keyed differently. Outside storage, below the frame of the floor, cubic feet wise, you still have the same amount of storage in the vehicle that you would have whether you have a big outside storage compartment door or not. Generally speaking, when there is an outside storage compartment door, the person that has to sleep against that door, it's a non-insulated door. So you're gonna freeze, especially in cold weather. Um, coach House prides itself on where we put our storage, everything being below the floor of the coach. Um, all, of our, all of our slide rooms have awning toppers on them. We have a motorized awning from Dometic. Um, it's 13 feet, and what's nice about the awning is it is wind-sensored legless. So by the push of a button, the awning will come out, it's legless, and it also has a wind sensor built into it. Now another nice feature, once this awning is deployed, we have awning lights. And it's LED lighting all the way down the inside portion of the awning, not the leading edge. What's nice about that is we put them on a dimmer. So these can be dimmed, the LED lights can be dimmed. It's a 10 foot awning. And what's nice is when you're inside your coach and you wanna see what's going on outside your coach, you have the LED lights. If you put them on the leading edge of the awning, unfortunately what happens is you can only see from the end of your awning in, if that makes sense. So we've thought a little bit differently about how to add LED lights to our awning, and this way seems to be the better of the two choices. So we're very proud of that. Again, wind sensored awning, legless, Dometic, great name, great warranty, great service throughout the industry. All right, now moving around the back of the coach, what you'll notice is how streamlined the vehicle is. What's nice about Coach House and absolutely sets us apart, which we're gonna get into in a few minutes, is our one-piece fiberglass body. We have a patent on this process. We are the only company today in the industry that builds a full one-piece fiberglass motorhome. These are all hand laid, they're reinforced with carbon fiber, and we're gonna show you one here in a couple minutes on, on exactly what that body looks like. It's an engineering feat to be able to do what we've done and have it fit on the top of a Ford or Mercedes-Benz chassis. It's really, really a neat concept. But in the back here, what we offer as standard equipment is all LED lighting. If you notice your tail lights, your top marker lights are all LED driven. Uh, we have an emergency scape window in the back. This is an emergency hatch in the event you need to get out of the coach, you can get out through the back window. Um, our hitch, all of our hitches come with class three, uh, they're called bulletproof hitches now. Uh, Reese no longer makes them, so we've changed companies and that will handle anything you need to tow. And remember, we have a 22,000 pound combined weight rating on the Ford chassis. Um, so it really is a remarkable hitch and a remarkable system. 
On the, on the back side here, we've kind of come up with an old school technology, which not too many people offer anymore, and that's our sewer hose. We have a sewer hose carrier, our sewer hose storage that can go all the way through this bumper. So you can store up to a 40 foot sewer hose, which is really, really nice. Uh, most of the time, manufacturers of smaller motor homes, you're really confined to maybe 10 to 20 feet of sewer hose. Here you've got plenty of storage for about as much sewer hose as you would ever need, which is really a nice feature. Now what's really cool, if you look at the front end of our vehicle, we are very aerodynamic. And what that does, a lot of our customers that drive big Class A motor homes are downsizing into something that's more fuel efficient, smaller, easier to handle, and by keeping these vehicles very aerodynamic, you don't get the wind shift or the wind sway when you're driving, and most of our, most of our customers are enjoying the fact that they can get off the interstates and get on rural roads and enjoy what this country has to offer. The interstates are boring. The rural roads, the small cities, the things that we can't necessarily see in a Class A motorhome, Coach House offers that flexibility in the product, which really makes it nice. Now, moving on by, uh, moving back on the coach a little bit, we do have uh, these big side view mirrors for great visibility. These are heated mirrors, power mirrors, and they have the elliptical lens on the bottom so that you can see anything on the side of you while you're driving down the interstate. It really is a nice feature when it comes to the mirrors. Uh, nice big entry steps. These are all fiberglass, so when you open your door, you not only have these beautiful courtesy lights to help you get out, but you have a big step to put your foot on, so it makes getting in and out of the vehicle very, very convenient and easy. Walking on back, we've got a little bit more storage here, which is nice. We have a 4KW Onan generator, and this generator on the Ford chassis is gasoline. So the Ford has a 55 gallon fuel tank. And what's nice is the generator feeds right off that main fuel tank. And so it will never let you run out of fuel because Ford puts a sending unit on, uh, on top of their sending unit, they put a pickup assembly. And that pickup assembly will only drop down to about a quarter of a tank left. So you're never stranded, which is nice. And a lot of people like the longevity a fuel burn. These generators, whether you go with the LPG on the Mercedes, or you go with the diesel on the Mercedes, or whether you go with the gas on the Ford, you get about a half a gallon an hour per burn, which means you have every two hours you're eating about a gallon of gas. So equate that into a 55 gallon tank, and you got quite a bit of capacity here to run your generator, which is nice. Again, Storage compartments are lit, they're fiberglass, nice doors, nice paint job, everything is beautiful. Coach House provides an outside auxiliary shower, which is really a neat feature to have. If you have a dog you've taken to the beach, or you've gone to the beach, and you're hot, you're sweaty, you're outside, it's a nice feature to have hot and cold water, so you can take a nice, comfortable shower on the outside of the vehicle. Uh, moving back, we have a 30 amp service coming into our vehicle. Uh, we provide a separate cord instead of the cord being attached to the converter. And what's nice about this is you don't have to worry about any rodents entering your vehicle. We've been in this 32 years and throughout our lifespan we've seen the chance of rodents getting into vehicles. By having a detached power cord and one that's not attached prevents a lot of rodents and, and problems from happening in your vehicle. Um, coming back, here's your fuel tank fill. It's under lock and key. This goes right to your main fuel tank. There's only one tank. Uh, again, 55 gallon tank. Nice, ample supply of fuel. Uh, back here, what we call, this is called our central utility compartment. And what this basically does is we try to keep the exterior of the coach clean. If you notice, there's very few cutouts on the outside. We try to put all of the camping necessities behind the door. So in other words, here we have a black water flush, and the black water flush will flush your black water tank. We have a courtesy light, so at nighttime you're able to see what you're doing. Cable TV. We have a way, I mentioned on the other side, we have a way to fill our fresh water tank, and that's right here. Once you're hooked up to city water, you can turn this valve and it will fill up your fresh water tank. So you never have to disconnect your, your, your city water connection to fill up your fresh water tank. Really nice. 
One discharge, uh, this is for gray and black water. Uh, we do, what's nice about it, we label, our, we label our handles, this is gray and black. So it's a real nice feature. What we recommend is you dump your, your black water tank first and then you dump your gray water tank and it helps flush out your sewer hose. And again back here, your sewer hose carrier, it opens up real nice and you can slide your sewer hose all the way across that bumper so you have plenty of storage for your sewer hose. Real nice fit and finish. The exterior of this coach is absolutely beautiful. Coach House offers three different paint jobs. One is a basic and we do it in a sunset or a desert, so the kind of the earth tones of the grays. Then we get into a deluxe, which is a four paint process, and then what we have here is what we call our premier. These are full body painted coaches, and this being our premier, there's five coats of paint that go on this vehicle and two heavy doses of clear. And then what we do is we cut and buff them so you don't have any ridge lines. Coach is nice and smooth, beautiful. This is the same process that some of your very, very high-end Class A motor coach builders use and is where we got the information from. Awesome paint job, fantastic exterior, smooth as silk driving down the road, very, very comfortable. Both spouses can drive, both partners can drive. It is an easy vehicle to, to get around town and use at a whim. It's nothing you have to plan for. It's fun. You keep it full of your stuff, you climb in it, and you go. These are called touring class motorhomes. Touring class, you're going to take it anywhere. It's not a class A motorhome that you're going to destination travel, where you go to point A to point B, point B to point C, and stay. These vehicles give you a lot of versatility, and the way we build them is awesome. Another really, really important factor with Coach House and some of the th things that drive our price is we use hydraulic slide rooms. Hydraulic slide rooms are very, very dependable. They're very, very efficient. We use HWH as the brand name. And unlike our competitors who use electric slides, we refer to these almost like a backhoe where they will go in and out without any problem. Look at how smooth the operation is of that slide room. Um, they just work and they are dependable and they're serviceable. And it's something that we find oftentimes in our industry that, the, that has gotten very, very cheap or inexpensive and that is the electric slide rooms. There's a couple brand names out there, just Google and you'll see the difference because these are very, very, very expensive. It's what you're going to find in your high-end motorhomes, and we're really proud that we use hydraulics and not electric. And it's important. You want a vehicle that's going to last. You want a vehicle that you can depend on. You want a vehicle while you're driving down the road or while you're camped or while you're visiting your grandkids or visiting your family or wherever you may be that you can depend on. HWH is brand name. You go to any high-end motorhome company and they're going to be using HWH slide rooms. We also, on our Ford coaches only, provide a four-point hydraulic leveling system. They come down automatically and they automatically level the coach, which we'll demonstrate here in a moment. There's a couple things I wanted to point out on the chassis that a lot of manufacturers do not do on all of our Ford chassis to assist with the ride. We're, using, we're putting more ride on the rear suspension. It's a maintenance-free installation. There's no air to it. There's no maintenance. And it is covered by Ford under warranty. So it really is cool. Also, what I want to demonstrate is on our Ford chassis, we use an HWH four-point hydraulic automatic leveling system. And I'm going to walk in the coach and show you how that works. By the touch of one button, what you'll see is the hydraulic leveling system's coming down right now. And it will automatically level the coach. In addition to more ride, we also install on our Ford product only Safety Plus, which is a very strong steering arm so that you get a real true feel driving down the interstate. 
A lot of people want to know what is on the roof of an RV. And so starting in the back, what we've done, this little circular thing, is actually a high definition television antenna. It'll pick up all the odd number channels and bring stuff in in high definition. In front of that is a fantastic roof vent. Uh, that is a rain sensor vent that if you have pets again or inclement weather and you have that open, it will automatically close. Um, in front of that, we run a 15,000 BTU Dometic air conditioner. Now the air conditioning systems that we use, we'll show you on the inside, are ducted. And not only are they ducted, but it also has a heat pump built into it, a fan built into it, and again, 15,000 BTU. So it's a nice, big, heavy-duty air conditioner. In front of that, this coach is actually sold, um, is a satellite system. Uh, this is for satellite television. Whether you do dish or direct, we're able to accommodate either way. And um, some people opt to go with it so they can save their favorite sports stations, news stations, local stations, whatever they want to use while they're on the road. And in front of that dome is another fantastic roof vent with a rain sensor. Some of the options that we offer on the exterior of the coach is the automatic in-motion satellite receiver, and we can do that dish or direct TV, the 13-foot legless power awning that we demonstrated a while ago, 160-watt solar battery charger, that's a permanent mount, Alcoa aluminum rims in place of the stainless steel wheel simulators, and we also have two other options, a cell phone amplifier and a Wi-Fi booster. The highlight of Coach House Motorhomes and our Platinum and Platinum 2 line is this one-piece fiberglass body. This vehicle is made out of, a, out of these great big molds that either rotate or come apart in pieces so that the entire body comes out as one piece. A lot of people don't understand the concept of what we do when we talk about one-piece fiberglass body. Don't be fooled by people that talk about a one-piece fiberglass roof or sidewalls or whatever the case may be. Most RVs consist of five or more pieces that are all screwed together and put together. And what happens is wherever there is a joint is a potential for failure. Failure meaning water leaks, squeaks, rattles. Coach House has designed this body so that we have minimized, if not eliminated, all of those potential problems. Our goal when we build a motorhome is to have our conversion, that's everything that Coach House does, last as long as the six wheels on that chassis want to go down the road. That's a mouthful. We provide a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty on all of our vehicles. It covers all of the things that we do to the coach nationally. And this is a hand-laid fiberglass body that is reinforced in all of the structural parts with carbon fiber. It's a remarkable product that should not be taken lightly if you're looking at an RV. We're sitting in the front seat of an E450 Ford, so what we wanted to do is take you through the 272 interior. Now, Ford chassis, what we do, again, when we order the chassis, we order them completely loaded. Uh, this is a power driver seat, and we have a, a, a passenger seat that rotates 180 degrees so that you can become part of the company if you have anybody in your coach with you. But more importantly, uh, Ford comes with a Triton 6.8 liter V10 engine. It's got 305 horsepower, 420 foot-pounds of torque. Um, the chassis, again, has cruise control, it's got power steering, it's got six-speed transmission, and has a tow haul mode if you're towing anything, AC, power windows, power door locks, just about everything that is available on the Ford chassis we order. Um, again, we call ourselves the Platinum, and we do that for a reason. Uh, one of the common denominators that we're doing with our coaches is we're putting Pioneer decks in. All of our coaches, whether you get a Ford or a Mercedes-Benz, we're using the Pioneer decks. Very high-end navigation system, standard equipment, available with XM, Sirius Radio, CD player, uh, a wonderful entertainment center, which is very, very nice. What we have found, especially in the Mercedes-Benz, they use what they call a Becker Map Pilot. 
and they do not offer XM radio or Sirius radio, and that becomes a deterrent to people. So we've decided to go ahead and use the Pioneer decks on all of our coaches, which is nice. Uh, we accent the dash with this real nice burlwood. It looks very, very beautiful. Um, we have a temperature gauge. This coach here actually has a, one of our options, which is a uh, rear view mirror with compass and temperature gauge built into it. Nice feature, plenty of headroom. If you notice, we actually removed part of the cab area so that you can get in and out a lot easier, but still leaving reinforcement in here for what they call your seatbelt anchor points. So everything in here is safety related, but we're also giving you more headroom to get in and up out of the coach, which is a very nice feature. As you can see, I've rotated the passenger seat, so now you can enjoy your company, which is nice. Again, the driver's seat is six-way power, and it's really a nice ergonomically designed dash. You have your cup holders, you have some storage here, um, some more storage here, and you've got all these little courtesy lights that are up above as well that uh, really act to enhance the driver's compartment, makes it very, very comfortable. These seats and the material that we're using is an Optima leather. And um, there's different brands of Optima leather which we have learned throughout our history building motorhomes. And what we've gotten into now is more of a PVC product. And the wear life on it is about three to four times that of a normal piece of leather. So it's really nice and soft, it's supple, and people really enjoy our, our seating positions. We do it all up in this nice, cleanable, optimal leather, and we have three different color choices. This is our cream. We do a camel, and we also do a gray. When you enter the side entry door, what you'll find is what we call our tower of power. And again, just like we try to keep the exterior clean, we try to keep the interior clean. This is gonna be all of your stuff to operate the motorhome. You have your slide room for your front slide, you have your HWH leveling system, your generator start-stop, your water heater controls, your level test to show you how much fluids are in the vehicle, your water pump, and when the door is closed, it's put behind this real nice lakeside cherry finish. On the side of the Tower of Power, we have your awning control, which also comes with a remote control. We have your awning LED lights. Uh, this is a solar charger. This coach has a solar charger on, 160 watt. All of our interior lights are LED, but they are also put on a dimmer, so you can dim them, which we'll show you in a minute. Uh, your power entry step, there's a the courtesy light, and your porch light. Now, when you're through with your coach, here's your master battery disconnect. Just by turning it, it shuts all the power off to the coach so that you do not drain your auxiliary batteries. So it really is a nice feature. Now up above in the Ford, what we did is a couple years ago, we put the TV up in the corner. And it's really a nice feature. This has the Bose optional sound bar in it. Um, again, this coach has been sold. This is all your electronics for your dish network, for your DVD player, uh, which is Blu-ray, or which is Blu -ray, and um, the Bose system that's been put in here. So this is all of where all your controls will be for your sound system. But the TV is nice. We also have this little pull-out thing so that we can angle the TV so that you have better visibility from your seating area. 23 inch smart TV. So it really is a great feature to have in a coach like this. Now on the driver's side of the coach, this is one option that we offer, which is a recliner option. What's cool about coach house is we've designed our slide rooms to accommodate three different things. We have these dual power recliners. We put a traditional dinette which our dinettes are all steel reinforced. They're not box cushions. And then we put a motorized sofa, which the sofa will lay out into a bed that's 54 by 73 to 75 inches long, depending on the slide. This is new for us, the recliner option. Um, what's nice is you have these permanent mounted tables, and if you want to take a nap and just sit back, watch TV, let your wife do the cooking or you do the cooking and let her lay back. These are super, super comfortable recliners. People love them. So we've done a lot of good with these and um, something we're proud of. We have two different cabinet colors that we work with. What we're going to show you here in the 272 is what we call our Lakeside Cherry. And these cabinets are phenomenal. Um, this little device here is actually an air conditioning device, and it will take care, again, of the 15,000 BTU air conditioner, the heat pump in the air conditioner, the 30,000 BTU LPG furnace, 
and the fan control, which is really nice. This is for your wine guard antenna system for your television. And our cabinetry is beautiful. If you look at our fit and finish, it's second to none. We use these little push latches that we got out of the marine industry, and they actually lock when you close the door. You don't see any exterior hinges, what's bar or a European hinge of some sort, real metal drawer stays, lifetime guarantee. Look at the inside of those cabinets. These cabinets are all, these cabinets are all finished off. You look all the way down, we finish every single cabinet off on the interior. We don't build L's, we don't build what the industry builds. It's totally different than what you'll find in any other motor home. Very nice feature. Uh, this coach has a, um, a Wi-Fi booster built into it. That's part of the electronics for the Wi-Fi booster. Again, this coach is sold. And um, it's going out to a good customer of ours in, in Colorado. So moving on back, what I want to show you is we have our fantastic roof vents. Uh, this is a fantastic fan that is rain censored. So when it is open, it blows out only. If it rains, it will automatically close. Um, ducted air conditioning system. These are all, all pointable, so you can position these wherever you want to keep the air from blowing on you or blowing on you, however you prefer. LED lights that all dim. So I got my hands on them, not hot, nice and cool, very low, very low draw and voltage. Um, what, they're beautiful lights. So we're going to work our way back in here to the bathroom. Got a nice mirror here so I can see how I look. It's getting hot in southwest Florida, but we're doing it. It's going good. So we have a nice mirror here, full length mirror. You can see what you look like before you go out on your date with your significant other, which is nice. And then we move into our bathroom. All right, this is one of our bathrooms in the 272. And what's nice is you got a nice big um, medicine cabinet here. You have a little vanity mirror. You have a nice stainless steel sink with the raised faucet, hot and cold water. Uh, you have some of your controls for your light fixtures. And if you notice down here lower, this is a ceramic toilet and everything is fiberglass. So if it gets wet, you don't have to worry about it. RVs hold a lot of moisture. And by having a fiberglass interior like this, it prevents a lot of problems from happening in the future. Our shower, a nice glass, solid glass door, and our shower is really functional, really nice, much bigger than you would expect. Now when you close the bathroom door, you have total privacy, not only for yourself, but from your guests, so they don't see your bathroom. Really kind of a nice feature. Now we're moving into the bedroom. The bedroom, we have another nice television um, located right over the bed. You've got some nice big pull-out drawers. These are all on metal drawer glides. Uh, very, very nice all the way down with as far as storage is concerned. We have a converter on board, and the converter is a converter that converts 110 volt to 12 volt. So it takes the 110 volt to all of your 110 volt appliances, like your air conditioning, your refrigerator, your convection oven, anything that's 110 volt, and then it converts everything back over to 12 volt, which would be for your lighting and your furnace exhaust and things of that nature. Really is a complete system. It also has automatic transfer. So when you take your umbilical cord and unplug it and turn your generator on, it automatically switches over to your generator power or your shore power to keep you moving so you have 110 volt current inside the coach. Now every coach house also comes with a thousand watt inverter. That's what this little device is here. It's a thousand watt Xantrek inverter and what's nice about the inverter is you have 110 volt power off your batteries when you're parked. Um, it will not run heavy appliances but it will run all of your lighting and it will run um, computers, you can charge your cell phones, you can run your laptops, however, whatever you want to do with it, 110 volt current is provided through your auxiliary batteries, which is really nice. We have a nice wardrobe closet here for all of your hanging goods, and there's some shoe racks up top. It's nice and deep, really a nice, nice closet in this size motorhome. All of our shades are what they call MCD shades. These are day and night shades. Um, this is the, the day shade, and then the night shade pulls down over top of it. All of our window treatments are beautiful. We do a really nice job here at Coach House on our window treatments and finishing them off. Queen size bed. Uh, this is on a slide, so we have the slide out out. Most of our outlets are all going to be equipped with USB ports in them as well. So you can take that USB port, plug your cell phones in, 
plug your computers in and again charge off USB. Again, cabinets above for more storage, all finished off, every one of them, finished off on the inside, finished off on the inside. Just wonderful the way we build our cabinets. And what a lot of people like about our cabinets is the fact that the, we use a carb 2 rated plywood. It's a light ply, meaning it's very, very low in formaldehyde emissions. You walk in a coach house, you're not going to start crying, your throat's not going to clog up. And I mean that because a lot of our industry is built in the hub of Elkhart, Indiana. We build them in southwest Florida. A big difference. We pull a lot of our ideas out of the marine industry. And carb 2 rated plywood has, again, very low emissions that are emitted from it. And it makes this coach so much more worthy of, of camping in it immediately. If you visited RV dealers, a lot of times they'll tell you, oh, you got to let it gas out. You don't have to let a coach house gas out. They don't s smell, and they're going to be very healthy for you in the long run rather than finding a, having a coach with formaldehyde in it. We use, in our colors, we actually use a laminate. This is a Formica. We use Wilson Art brand, brand uh, laminate. And what's nice about the laminates is they do not absorb cooking odors. You can clean and wipe them with anything, and um, they'll last forever. They do not color fade, so you don't have to worry about the colors of your coach changing throughout time. Now, another nice feature is underneath this bed, we have um, additional storage. Coach House has quite a few plug outlets with USB ports. And the USB ports are nice if you want to plug your cell phone in, your computer, any type of charging station. Really kind of a futuristic thing that's happening in our industry, but USB plugs along with 110 volt outlets are very, very nice to have. Uh, now that we're in the bedroom, we're going to start heading towards the galley and show you some of the features of the galley. But before we left here, I wanted to show you how beautiful this bed is and the fact that we do have outlets, plenty of outlets throughout the coach to um, help supply you with 110 volt current. A lot of our customers are on CPAC machines or anything like that. And again, all of these outlets are run off the 1,000 watt inverter, which is a real nice feature. In the back here, right next to the bedroom, what we have is the controls for the rear room in the 272. Again, the queen bed is on a hydraulic slide, and this is the control for the slide right next to the bed, which makes it very nice. Again, dimmers on all of our LEDs inside the vehicle. You can turn them off, turn them on, really cool. Play with them if you feel like, get a little strobe light action going. And below, what we do with our Ford product is all of our Fords are equipped with Hot water heaters are a little bit different. Our hot water heaters are engine assist, 110 volt, six gallon hot water heaters. So while you're driving down the road, you constantly have hot water. They're awesome. It's like having the same thing in your home in your RV. They work wonderful. So no matter what, driving down the road, you've got six gallons of hot water all the time stored in a container of uh, a hot water heater and you also have the 110 volt side to turn it on here. Now you also have this thing, which is really cool. This is a big pull out pantry. And this is not a wire shelved pantry. We make these pantries here so that your, your items in it don't fall all over the place. It's really a nice pantry. Our customers love these things. And again, one latch, you're locked, you're ready to go. Refrigerator, this is a Dometic three-way. I mentioned it earlier. This is a three-way refrigerator, six cubic feet. It's the largest three-way refrigerator Dometic offers. Some companies say they have seven cubic, eight cubic. When you get into bigger cubic foot sizes, you're limited to two-way only. You'll have LP gas and you'll have 110 volt or they'll get into compressor driven refrigerators. But this is nice. This has plenty of storage for freezing. Uh, it's got a nice size freezer in it, nice control panel. And then you have a refrigerator down below, adequate storage. It's off the ground so that you, have, you can gain access to it very easily. Some more storage up above the refrigerator here. Um, again, all of our hinges, all of our latches, everything's meant to stay. They're beautiful. They'll last forever. Um, really nice. Our galleys in a 272 and a 271 are really unique. Um, starting with the stove, what we've done is we actually have a three burner LP stove. And we have the option to go two burner electric or one burner induction. So we have some options here as far as stoves are, are concerned. There's a range hood located over the stove along with the convection oven. Uh, we use two brand names of convection ovens. We use Cuisinart and High Point. 
uh, both very well known in the industry, very easily serviced, things of that nature. But we find a lot of our supplies and parts in the marine industry, um, which is nice. But look at that piece of Corian, how beautiful that is. Look at this, gigantic stainless steel sink. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, very expensive, high end, nice sink. And then look at the rest of the galley space that we have on the galley. All of the Corian, it's beautiful. Now we also have, this is a new option for us this year. What we used to have here, and we still offer it, is a third seat. So if you want a seat here, it's a recliner seat, you can put a seat in part of this galley space instead of having the big galley. So we offer two different options for our galley. But this just totally increased all the storage by adding, these, by adding this extended galley. We have drawer space galore. Look at it all. It's everywhere. You can put anything in here. You can cook like a gourmet cook. It's beautiful. Every one of these. A little tip out drawer here for your sponges and stuff. More drawers. More drawers. Look at them all. Look at underneath those stoves. Look at how much storage space is under here. Look at the size of that. It's huge. You put your pots and pans. You can almost put somebody in there if you wanted to, I guess. Really a nice feature. A lot of storage in the coach, which we're really proud of. Storage all the way up along the galley this way as well. Again, everything's finished off so that it's beautiful on the inside. We don't cut corners at Coach House. We try to build the best motorhomes in the industry. There is nothing else we want to do but to provide a vehicle that will last you as long as this chassis wants to ride down the road. We're a family-run business. Coach House, you can't get a better vehicle um, you could get them cheaper, but in our industry, you absolutely will get what you pay for. Now that we've given you a good tour of the 272 and what we're all about at Coach House, we want to take you on a nice test drive. We appreciate your time. Um, if you have any questions, please call us. If you want to talk to me, you can talk to us. We have a live receptionist. Uh, we're here five days a week. We give factory tours, and again, we are a factory direct cell company. Everything we do is sold right here at the factory. Please give us a call. We look forward to hearing from you and answering any of your questions that we might have left out. Again, thank you very much.